Alright, what's going on you guys? It's your boy Quincy and here we are with the Merciless Storm Special. Um, I will do a second part for this intro with Artist so just so that I can explain everything thoroughly and my idea behind the build. So the build is these three perks right here so we'll start with merciless storm so merciless storm your horrible trauma is felt by everyone when a generator reach reaches 90 percent progress any survivor that's working on it so up to all four they will be faced with like continuous skill checks like think the yellow glyph skill checks if they miss or stop preparing the gen gets blocked for 20 seconds so it's basically for some killers like doctor it will add 20 whole seconds to her gen just because the way doctor's power interacts with skill checks but my idea with ghost face, so the build entirely is merciless storm discordance and tinkerer so discordance lets you know when two or more people are working on a gen that's basically it <laughs> uh it has 120 meters of aura rating that's basically map wide Uh, the ore remains for four seconds afterwards. I don't really know how that's helpful, but there you go. Uh, Tinkerer, whenever a generator reaches 70% progress, you'll receive a loud noise notification and become undetectable for 16 seconds. But this perk is getting nerfed in the next upcoming patch. So if you're watching this in the next upcoming patch, Tinkerer only gives one loud noise notification per gen once it reaches 70%. And then for the fourth perk, you could really do anything preferably gen regression that's what i'm feeling just so well at least right now in 6.0.2 uh tinkerer still procs multiple times per gen so if you're playing now you can use whatever gen regression so you can get as many tinkers as possible but i'm gonna just gonna use pain resonance so that i can hook figure out what gen's gonna be worked on so i kind of know where people are but the build idea is so driver's license got reworked recently so whenever you mark a survivor the sur generator explodes and loses 20 percent progress and the generator becomes blocked for 15 seconds and i just feel like this also works really well with this build just because you get tinkerer if you can get to the gen if it's one person and you get to the gen before Tinkerer is over. So the good thing about Tinkerer is that once Tinkerer is over after 16 seconds, that would be 20 exactly. What is that? 20 percent on a gen. So merciless storm would proc if there's only one survivor. So if Discord is one survivor where after Tinkerer ends, Discord is uh, merciless storm proc so you know discord basically hold on discordance is basically there to let us know whether one person's on there or two people you know, just so we know when to get there faster we have philly just to decrease the time it takes to mark people so we can get there faster and mark faster and then pain resonance you could really use whatever you could use pain res you could use pop you could use oppression you could use jolt ruin you know you could use pop eruption if you wanted to you could throw what really whatever perk you really wanted on here as long I would say a slow down or regression type perk you could do better too just in case if they finish the gen then you know where people are I thought about that but it wouldn't you know I feel like after the gen gets done that's when the build really doesn't it doesn't have any oomph you know but we're gonna get ready in the game here let me second thing second let me explain artist really quick so artist has uh for artist's third perk you can use any third perk too but 
but for artists interaction basically with these perks is wonderful so artist is a wonderful probably the best user of tinkerer in my opinion because if there's one person working on a gen as a gen prox you can get a hit on them with the birds like you just have to basically i'll explain in game or later in the video but basically you line your birds up you space them far apart and then you launch it and the first bird hits and basically with the interaction if there's more people on it with severed hands the first bird hits and then the second bird you can use both birds at the end to hit both yeah. people that would automatically make them let go of the gen proc merciless storm just discordance would let you know and then discordance works wonderfully with severed hands because any survivor being swarmed by dire crows near a survivor is also swarmed And then we have the Velvet Fabric, so you see them a little bit longer for better snipes. And then the third perk for really anything. I did boons because when I played Artist last time, there was a lot of boons. But I'm going to play Ghostface for now. Alright, yeah. So, I'll see you guys in game. Let's see the build works. Irie, ooh, that's ghost face. This might be a struggle. My scourge hook spread might be kind of poopy though. That hook's not a scourge hook. There's one down there though. I have one on every end of the map. I gotta press my button. I gotta crawl. Look over here. Nothing. Scan real quick. Got me. That's fine, no Kate. You have no idea what world you're in for. that tinker is about to end so merciless storm starts now kind of forces her off of it she has sprint burst though so she is gone so can't really cloak here I wish Merciless Storm... Merciless Storm should have like a little red timer on it. Just so if a gen procs... You know, you can see it. Uh... Maybe his ghost face, I could like... Nice. I thought she was gonna go work on the gen. Nice. Hi. Oh. Oh, she didn't fall for that. I thought that was a really good fake too. I'll just pick up. I don't think any of you have flashlights. Not playing your silly little game. That's still the highest gen. Here, there's one person on this gen.
Nice. We are getting some wonderful stocks in. I wish he was still on the gen. I wish he could have hit a couple skill checks. Because I wanted to get some driver's license value. That was pain res timing value though. Alright, so if I was there, I might be over there. Nice. Driver's license value, baby. Let's go. Sorry. But I need it back in blood. Holy f fuck, man. Whenever these new perk changes come out on some killers, you might be able to do some crazy shit. Alright. Hmm. Alright, here, he's about halfway. So if I just hit that lean on him real quick, y'all didn't see that, but I could add it in a share factory. Oh no, the pallet. Get rid of that hanky spanky. I go this way so he can't reveal me. I always pick the worst fucking sides. She has resilience. Ugh. Hey, Leon. Don't you e fucking dare. Ugh. Rest a little bit. This gen's right here. They're splitting. to spread the pressure oh uh, who's dead I think Yui is dead I'm gonna... nice fuck you fuck you Kate <laughs> uh, I think I head for this hook I get greedy but I brought the perk for it So I need it. Alright, nice. They hit Merciless on it. Yo, they are all over the fucking place. I think I just chill right here. And wait. Maybe. I'm 
people just sitting here. Alright. Calm down. I think this is the most progressed gen, so this will hit that. I'm looking for. Oh, she is lucky break. Who's out here? Yui? Did I just see your broke ass? Sure fucking did. Oh, fuck! Nice. I'm not near any scourgey. this no 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 <laughs> you fall for those every time squanty cat <laughs> Bozo. Nice. Come here, like a little girl. I need to get a pop. I'm so glad she does not have a boil over. For real, it's really a blessing. Nice. Got that merciless storm value. Leon is a stealthy boy. He made his way over. You point at me? 
Where did your friend go? Where is your friend? I want Leong. Leong. My buddy is so good to see you. It is so good to see you, my friend. Leonga. Yes. Yes. Where'd he go? Yes. Oh, he did not fall for the moonwalk, but he fell for that one. Ah! Yes. Leonga. It is time. Rest of party. Kate, you healed. You felt a healing skill check. It's time to party. Party. Yes. Don't you dare. Yeah, you can't see me. What's in here? Ooh, a med kit. Crazy. That is what I would call a W game. There was a circle of healing. Okay. I don't think I heard the boom though. Sprint burst, lucky break. Yeah, I was about to say she was. Oh, she sent us to this map. Nah, big dog. Nah, big dog. Yo, she dipped. Like I smacked her and she was gone. <laughs> Literally, she fucking dipped, bro. She went to go get that fucking milk real quick. What do we have? Uh, I think the most common perk. What would it be? There's a pretty good, like, spread of perks here. Only two people have the same perk. I like this. BT will make it. Self-care, bond, like, yo. This is a good spread of perks. They're all good perks, too. Don't get me wrong. That's where she was going. <laughs> I thought we had something special, Ghosty. I'm just recording. That was a W game, though.
One minute, 37 seconds later. Yes, sir. Holy shit. <laughs> Alright you guys, I'm back with the post editing commentary. Just because I feel like this it's it's just pure gameplay there's not like my mic is there, I'm just not really saying anything. But we got the hit with the bird on the gen, so now we get the double hit with the birds, blocking it with merciless storm in the process. Boom, just like that. Yeah. 
Guarantees to hit on a couple people and guarantees in a block gen. Now that was like merciless storm with artist best case scenario in my opinion. Like you got the hit on two people and the eventual down. Like that's massive. And getting the gen blocked and just blocking another gen with artists just like that instantly. Alright, so I'm chasing Miss Jill again. I don't know, I feel like my chases with her were funny. So she just camps the pallet against an artist in a four lane, which is honestly a very, very bad mistake. But it happens. But we see two people healing over here. We'll shoot the one bird at them to spread the crows. And start running away. We line up the second shot and let it rip. This gen was tinkered with discordance. So we're shooting birds at it, but they got off of it. But it blocked. That's three gens that have been blocked by Merciless Storm this game. Two of them have been completed already, which is that's amazing. We'll set up a perfectly placed bird that'll do damage, like she has to walk into it. And it basically cuts her off because she can't go wide either. Place down another one, she walks into it. Cheryl in three, two, one. But all right, so this game is a little different because I switched out. The last games I had barbecue for blood points, but now I have Call of Brian to try to regress the gens down to Tinker level so we can get more snipes with artists. And then I have the charcoal stick that shows the aura of my birds when they get placed down instead of when they fire so that they don't see when they're coming. And then, since they don't see when they're coming, they only see when the bird gets placed. You know, that definitely helps with it. But chasing this Yui, I don't know how I missed that swing. Birds went on cooldown, but we fire a bird at that gen. Get the hit. See, this is what I mean. Get the snipe. She gets hit, it blocks a gen. I'm going for the long catapult shot, which the Leon kind of interrupted. That's another Merciless on another gen. Is that four gens this game already? What the fuck? That's what I'm saying. Not me talking to myself. Alright, so I just do a little jump cuts because uh, this is the parts that aren't really interesting. I just tried to trim the video down as much as possible. I didn't want to upload a two hour long video. But they're working on this gen right now. As soon as she get bird, she dips. But that's fine. I go smack her. Then I go kick the gen. To apply Call of Brian. And Call of Brian is really good for artists too because you get that loud noise notification, you shoot a bird. She blocks the gen, which is all pretty cool too. No, it's not not what I thought it would be, but that's that's fine. So we're chasing her. She vaults the window. We fire birds at that gen. Get two hits on people. It's just fine. It's beautiful. Get the hit on her with the bird. Fire bird at that gen because the scorn is proc, but the Leon took the hit of it. And I swung because I saw his the top of his head for a second. Just blow 
on skill checks on it now. Either that or they're hopping on and off it. Place my birds down. Which they're too close to I like do a house state distance wise. But we get the uh, severed hands double hit. Go and kick this. It was blocked by Merciless Storm. So we defend it with Call of Brian so that it regresses. Heat bags, I don't understand why. Shoot a bird at the gen to check it. Go back. Still regressing. Nobody touched it yet. But I don't really know where the Leon goes. I think he just dipped. But I can't hear him, so I'm just ignore it. Tinker approx on the gen over here across the map. So I go over, line up a shot, shoot a bird. They get double the crows, which is best case scenario. So one bird so I can shoot line up and fire and get both the hits on them. And down. No idea where the Yui went. I would have lined up another shot on her. Jen. Sadly, I lined up too short. I did get to hit on the thing. Alright, so we found the Yui. Let's see what she does. She's gonna wait out the dead hard, but she didn't dead hard. We hook her, she's dead. They popped that last gen. Merciless popped on that gen. So now I know it's up there. Stomp out this boon real quick. So swarm the thing with some crows, chasing her, tinkerer proc, so I fire her off and I get the hit. And then we line up the shot with Tinkerer. Shoot it off. He's running. Fire off the next bird. I'm just like, I could continue to chase, but I'd rather kick the turn. We shoot onto the fang. She gets swarmed. Totem on this map has been a boon. Actually, this statement is wrong. So, there was only four boons. There was one totem, it was this totem specifically, that was not uh, ever booned. But, four out of the five totems in this match were, in fact, booned.
right, you guys. So, in my honest thoughts about Merciless Storm, I think it's like against good survivors, you know. They'll, it's yellow glyph skill checks. They'll, good survivors can hit skill checks. You know, that's not an issue. But, I do like how Merciless Storm interacts with a lot of different killers' powers and add ons. Like, that's where I think Merciless Storm's main strength comes from. Because, look at Doctor, for example. You could put Merciless Storm on a Doctor, and if everybody's in Madness too. You know, the Merciless Storm skill checks are going to be all over the place. You basically have guaranteed Merciless Storm value. Then, so many killers can use Merciless Storm with a variety of their add-ons like Wraith with Silent Bell and the Ghost. Artists with Severed Hands, Velvety Fabric. You know, you could use Ink Egg. You could... With Ghostface, you could use driver's license with Philly for easier stocks. There's just so many different combinations. For Blight, let's say if you're using Merciless Storm. You, know, you, you basically know what I'm trying to get at. There are a lot of different add-ons that would synergize with Merciless Storm so wonderfully. And that's why I think it has a wonderful place in this game. Plus, it adds 20 seconds to every gen. It blocks the gen for 20 seconds. So that's that's good. It doesn't make gens longer, but when this new update comes out too, gens will take longer. So if a gen blocks, that's almost two minutes a gen if one person's working on it. So I really think that's good. Um, in my opinion, I hope more perks get added to Dead by Daylight like this. Like, just once a gen, you know... If the gen hits 50 per like, just perks like this, like, Tinkerer, you know? It doesn't have to be like Tinkerer. Every perk, like, the intensity, basically, or intensity. You know what the fuck I'm talking about, Julian. Jesus Christ, this is going to stay in the video. I can't even think straight. Basically, like, when the gen hits a certain percentage range or repair progress, you know, so 70, 90, it could do, gen gets halfway, this happens. When a gen gets 30, this happens, you know. I feel like more perks like that would would be awesome. You know, just to throw, like, that's basically the survivors in control of this killer perk, basically. And that's why Merciless Storm's so good. Merciless Storm only procs when a survivor works on a gen. You know, when a so gen's almost done... Gen's about to be finished. Merciless Storm Prox is like the final final countdown before you could finish the gen. You fail it, you gotta wait a little bit. So in my honest opinion, I think Merciless Storm's a wonderful perk. It has its place in my heart. It's one of Sadako's perks. It's very fun and very different, let me say. I like different perks that aren't your typical meta. You know? Like the meta is changing, but like Kane Revs, for example, you know, pop, ruin, you know, just gen regression. It's not gen regression, but it's slowdown. And that's what I think this game needs more. Like, now that gens are going to be 90 seconds, you know, don't worry about regression perks because we have plenty of regression perks. You could you could go into a game with overcharge, call a brawn, pop, and just kick every single gen you see that's not regressing. But I'd like perks like this that the entity blocks it or it gets slowed down. Just different interactions with things. So that's that's my take on Merciless Storm. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, keep keep watching. You know, there there'll be more definitely more special videos like Merciless Storm when uh when I get to those perks. Could just because I feel like for example good um i don't know for now but there are definitely perks that interact with killers powers in different ways like we could not dissolution but you you know what i'm getting at so hopefully once we get to those we'll be able to have more special videos i don't want to do videos like this super duper often because they are long as you can see you know in the, the little corner over there but 
hopefully you guys enjoyed have a wonderful day night evening morning afternoon wherever you are from i hope your day is blessed my name's quincy and thank you for watching i will see you guys next time peace out all right go make some time for you